So they're trying to push me out of school and they just will not let me take this class that I was in. They're worried because of this stuff that's supposedly happening. That's not even like an issue and stuff like that. There's kids in this class that are getting caught doing way worse stuff than me. I don't care if you fucking vape in school or smoke in school or whatever, but there's people in that class that have been caught doing that, which I think is clearly more like bad than like just fucking walking the halls during lunch and shit like that that are in that class because they're telling me it's a privilege or whatever to be in that class and i don't i don't deserve to be in the class or whatever but there's a lot of people in that class that do a lot more worse stuff than me in school and i've been caught doing it and i'm the one who can't be in the class i don't know if i already said this or not but yeah they were just like it was almost like they were just trying to like troll me or kind of play with me like the classes like they were offering that I could do for that period like were just absolute trash. I'm not trying to I'm not making fun of anyone who is in these classes or anything but them telling me to do stuff like ROTC or like another science class like this stuff that when I'm making my point like I want to do a class that I can enjoy but they just will not let me in a single class that I choose that I will enjoy because I don't deserve to, I guess, enjoy my last semester at Stephen Decatur High School. So I don't know. They're just trying to fucking push me out of the fucking school with all this shit. They just like, they don't want to hear anything I'm saying. They're telling me I'm lying. Like, this is another thing that's actually happened. So stuff's happened where either like i don't i don't i don't know something i want to say something exactly but i don't want to say like, the teacher's name or whatever but like this the same teacher that i was like having issues with or whatever told miss garin that i was doing stuff that whatever she said i was doing i'm i don't really ex remember exactly what it was i'm sorry it was like fucking two or three weeks ago and i don't really care that much about it but it's valid for this uh what i'm talking about right now so she says it and then she tells me like i did it or whatever and i'm just like yeah, that, that definitely didn't happen. Uh, you can pull some kids from the class that I don't even talk to. Like, not even people that I'm, like, friends with. They're just, like, I even, like, no. Like, you can pull anyone from that class and ask them if this is actually happening. And they're just going to and they're gonna say no. And she's just sitting there. Every single time I try to say something, every time I'm in her office, she tells me I'm lying. And doesn't she doesn't want to hear anything from the fucking student. I guess because, like, I'm lower, like, I don't know. It's like she's, like, up on this pedestal because she's a vice president. Vice fucking president. Vice principal. And, like, it's just, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, a nobody to her. And, like, it just everything I say does not matter. This is stuff that I promise you I would not bring this up in the video if it wasn't true. I promise you I did not do. And she just sits there and calls me a liar. So I'm not really sure how students at the school are really supposed to go about stuff when stuff like that's happening. Like if some, something is said, they're just gonna believe the teacher every single time, you know? They got these new cameras. I wish they would've put a camera in every single classroom to see this stuff that's going on because it, it was not going on what they were saying. And if they had the cameras in the classroom, they could prove that. I'm not really sure why there's not cameras in the classroom. Like they wanna put cameras everywhere else but in the classroom. The classroom is where you're spending most of your day, and that's where this stuff is supposedly happening, which is just not happening. And if they had cameras in there, they'd be able to prove it, but they don't. Like I was saying, she doesn't want to listen to anything that I have to say. She doesn't care, I guess, because I'm a fucking student. I'm just a nobody. So that's another thing. Doesn't want even want to listen to anything I have to say. I feel like I have no respect when I went her office Maybe I wasn't really giving her respect either, but she is the adult. I think she should be a lot more mature. She's way older than me, obviously. I'm sorry, like, if I was being a dick, but I'm upset for, like, reasons that... Just stuff that's going on that I don't feel like is fair and is happening to me. But it's just, it's just not happening to other students that are, like, the same stuff they're being supposedly, like, said that they did or whatever. So... Yeah, about that, like, I don't know, just not listening to a single thing that this student has to say and just shutting it down every single time. I just do not feel like it's fair whatsoever, but 
I can't do anything. About I think something else, I'm really not sure if other people like get get this punishment. So this could just not be like valid. But Mr. Green this year, I don't know. Like he, like I was saying, he just has some sort of like vendetta or something against me. I'm not really sure why. I think it's like, it seems like it's all just because of the TikTok. Because this, this stuff has really been happening after I started posting the TikTok videos. The school just doesn't like them for some reason. But yeah, I got... ISS multiple times this year for coming to school late and I was late by like each time I mean it doesn't really matter I guess but um I was late by minutes every single time and I don't know I thought if you were late you just got like a like an absence if you're late too many times it just counts as like a absent that's what I've been told by everyone but for me I get ISS for coming late I'm not really sure if that's normal, I mean, comment if you've gotten ISS for coming to school late. I don't know, but I don't. I don't think that's like. I don't see anyone else getting that. So maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong on this. You guys have to another thing with Mr. Green. He's just been trying to shut down the TikTok and supposedly says he's seen them. Just like all the other admins, they they say they've seen them and they don't like them, but they're not even allowed to have TikTok on their phone. So I'm like, well then, how are you seeing all these videos? And they're just saying students are showing them the videos well then why are these other students not getting in trouble for having tiktok on their phone when i am for having it on my phone but it's a county-wide policy for everyone nothing's happening to anyone else that they're seeing these videos from so that's how they're saying they're seeing the videos which we all know that's not true i know there's teachers in the school that follow me on tiktok and i i literally know who they are i'm not gonna obviously call them out because i don't care and i hope they they probably just enjoy the videos, just like everyone else. I haven't really had anyone hate on them at all. I mean, if you have something bad to say about them, put it in the comments of this video. Like, we could talk about it. But, yeah, Mr. Green was, since he doesn't like him, was going after people filming the video. He was like, are you filming for that Trevor Sarms guy or whatever? <laughs> he was, like, saying that to people. And then telling them, tell them that they need to stop filming for my videos or they're going to get in trouble for it. And this is when he's not even coming up to me and telling me straight up to if I didn't if I don't stop making the videos I'm going to get in trouble. So he's telling all these other people basically like trying to scare other people off from filming the videos. I don't know. I guess cuz I don't know. He doesn't like him or something like that. I think everyone in the school though I don't have a single problem in the school. This is really one of the reasons that I really wanted to be in that gym class just because I really enjoy like everyone in that class like it's it really is a class where I feel like I can just like you know I can get some physical education which I think is good like I was saying earlier and then just like have a good time with everyone like I'm barely gonna be here everyone any longer I want to have a good time I think every single senior wants to have fun their senior year and going back earlier Miss Garden saying that school is not a place where you, to be having fun like Every single senior, I think, would say this, too. They want to have fun their senior year. First semester, I really have no complaints. It's the most fun I've probably had in my entire life. I've been loving this year. I was looking even more forward to this semester. Like, I was in that, like, so much fun. Like, I've just been, like, loving it, which I think... Fuck, it's in my batteries at 10%, sorry. I think, like, everyone can agree, like... You just want to have fun and like they're just they're taking that option away from me and giving like by taking the classes away just for me just like the fun classes away just for me and not away from anyone else and they're either like you can either leave school or you can take one of these like like i said i'm not trying to make fun of people taking them but these i'm just gonna say these beat ass classes that i don't need to graduate and they're just gonna give me a bunch of work so why would i want to take that class like that's what I'm trying to get out get out like they just want me to leave they they keep telling me just leave and do like work study or whatever for three periods like I want to see people like and I just like I don't think anyone in the school really has a problem with me I don't have a single problem with anyone in the school so and I've never put anyone in the school like especially off the vids like no one in the school has a problem with me over the vids I mean no one's come up to, and said anything to me about them like I've really only got positive stuff from them. I'm making them. I, I hope people will, like enjoy them. They're just meant to be like funny and just like, you know, just like it's nothing. Nothing is like bad or like 
meant to be bad or like hate like it's there's no hate on it at all like on other people or anything like that it's just like i honestly think it, it makes the school look it can't make the school look bad it's it's gotta make maybe it's just like neutral or whatever but if anything it could honestly be like boosting the school or whatever like because people are seeing the videos i don't know but you know i don't really like how you know he's and then he says all this stuff to other students about like like talking about the videos like oh they're making the school look bad all all this other stuff like hating on the videos when the only time he said something about the videos for me was the smelling salts smelling salts were not banned in the school at all so i was doing those videos with the smelling salts he calls me to his office tells me to not make any more videos with them i haven't made a single video since not a single like, smelling salt video in the school since that happened so like, I'm, it's not like I'm not listening to, like, stuff that's being said. Like, like no one has told me, like, like it's just not making any sense. with. And then they're just, like, talking to me on my back about it and stuff like that. They're talking to students about it. Just saying, like, all this, like, just shitting on it. When no one will say it to my face. Like, they won't say it to my face or, like, we could actually talk about it. I try to talk about it when I'm in there, like, today or whatever, coming through all this stuff, and they just, they just don't want to hear anything that I have to say whatsoever, like, like, I just, I don't know, and I, so I'm gonna try to get this video, like, wrapped up or whatever, but there's just, like, some other, like, minor stuff that, I mean, they're just, like, like, hating on me for, like, it's just, like, it's just such little stuff in this video has already gone so long that I don't really want to talk about it, but kind of, like, in conclusion or whatever, like, they just don't want me, like, you, it's, like, really, if you were in the room, I was just in the room with both of them, I'm not really sure why they were both in there, but, like, whatever, it doesn't matter, they really just don't want me at this school, like, except for that first period, because I needed to graduate, hopefully I can still walk the stage and stuff like that, they didn't say I couldn't, so, like, hopefully I can still go to, like, all the school activities and stuff like that, but, I mean, the final thoughts are, uh, I've really fucking... I don't know, I'm really sad about it, man. I was looking forward so much to this gym class and stuff like that. Like, it really made me, like, really happy. And I was telling them this and stuff like that. Like, last night, thinking about this shit before this morning, it's not supposed to, it's not meant to be, like, a sob story or whatever, but I, like, woke up at, like, 12 at night. I didn't even go to sleep the rest of the night. So I've been awake since 12 at night today just because I was, like, stressing over it because, like, t today is the day I found out if they were going to, let me be in that class or what was going to happen and stuff like that. And yeah, so I've been stressing about it hard just because like, and like, I really enjoyed being at school or whatever, but I want to take like a fun class or whatever for my literal last class I'm ever going to take at a single school. But yeah, they don't want to, they don't want to hear it. Like they just like, they just want me to go and do work study all day. Just so like, I guess, like, I don't know, like, like, it's not even, like, they don't have to deal with me because I'm really not doing anything that's the issue. But, yeah, they just want to, they're just telling me I need to go do, like, work study and stuff like that. They don't want me to be there. So, as of right now, I'm only doing one class, first period, sports stats with Trey Heim. I'm, I'm honestly pretty happy with people in that class, but it really does suck because, like, being at school longer, I got to see a lot of other people, and I enjoyed it a lot more, but... Yeah, all this stuff has happened. Like, it, I was really never... I never had a single problem through high school or anything until I started making the TikToks. And then the school just, like, literally gets on my ass about absolutely everything. I don't know. I guess because they don't like him or whatever. But that's kind of, like, the the end of it, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm going to keep making the TikToks. Obviously, I'm not really going to be able to make any at school because I'm not even going to be at school, I guess. But, yeah, I guess, it's not like a moral of the story or anything, but, I don't know, I guess fucking don't blow up on TikTok or, like, have your videos do good on TikTok or they're just gonna fuck with you because, I don't know, they don't fucking like them or stuff like that, even though so many other people are making TikToks in the school and, I don't know, they told me to actually... Every single time I would, like, say something about they were saying about me, about me doing, like... I'd rather take that. Sorry, I'm just getting back into this. I'm like, I just keep thinking of stuff. Like, So they were like... I was like, so I'm the only one getting in trouble for all this TikTok stuff or whatever. They were like, yeah. And I was like, 
Well, what about all the other students in the school that have it downloaded on their phone or have made TikToks in the school? And they were like, well, we can give you a fucking pen and paper and you can write down all the names. Like, that's not my job. You guys, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, they just, they, like, everything that was going on that they were bringing up and I was like, why are people doing the same stuff? You guys know what's happening. And then they were trying to like deny they don't or whatever when they see it happen like on a daily basis. They want me to just snitch on people. Like, that's not my job, and I'm obviously not gonna do that. But I mean, I'm I don't know. I'm just gonna end it here because I'm just gonna keep going on about more and more stuff. Um, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. This was a fucking long ass fucking video. I'm sorry if it was fucking keep saying that effort. Sorry if it was like cringy and stuff like that. I've never done a video like this. Never thought I would. Didn't even think I would be in this position ever. I never even thought about it because I don't know, but. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are still watching, um, drop a like, drop a dislike, whatever you think. Drop a fucking comment on whatever you think. But I'm out. This is sad. Hashtag justice for SARMs.